guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Caroline Raven and in this video I'm gonna teach you my favorite rubber band tricks. Whenever I say that it feels like I'm gonna invite you into my bedroom and that's not what we're doing right now, even though my last tour was called Where the Magic Happens. The tricks I'm gonna teach you are very very simple tricks that anyone can do. It might look hard in the beginning, but trust me, it's not gonna be that hard for you to actually achieve this just with a couple of minutes or maybe an hour. Having said that, it's always important to make sure that you do in fact practice before you show this in front of an audience. You know how they say that magicians never reveal their secrets and yet here I am teaching you tricks? What's really important whenever you're out performing magic is to make sure that you know your stuff well enough, that you are well rehearsed, that you have a nice script and you know what's coming and just have fun doing it. So having said that, let's get into the actual tutorial of how to do this. No holes. These are real, no. Except for the very big one in the middle. Yeah. Yeah, there's, <laughs> okay. Have you been drinking? One beer. One beer, okay. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> All right, the very first trick is very, very simple. So it's the jumping rubber band. So it, the rubber band is going to jump from these two fingers to these two. So from index to long and long finger to ring and little finger. And it goes just like that. Now, I want you to double check. Is the rubber band on the inside? And is it locked inside? Yes, it is. Yes. So now it's going to be way harder to do that. It was actually my grandfather who started teaching me magic when I was a kid and, and this was in fact the very first trick I was ever taught. So what you're basically gonna do is that you're gonna have the rubber band placed on two fingers and make it jump. I have my monitor right there so I'm checking so everything looks cool. So the exposed view for this would be just to take a look at what's going on in your palm. So as you grab the rubber band to show that there's nothing extra, whatever you wanna do, grab it and as you grab it, you make sure that you open up the rubber band very wide on this side, okay? So you open it up and and as you do, you can, you can pull this quite hard actually. And this is one of those rubber bands that is extremely flexible. So I, I prefer use those. So open it up, close your fist like this. And as you do, you make sure that all your fingers land on the inside of the loop that you created with the rubber band. You just let that go. Here's what it looks like in the back. And you do your magical gesture, snap the fingers or whatever. And as you open up, it's gonna jump over. So you're gonna hold it like this and as you open up, it's gonna automatically jump to the other side. Really cool. When I do this, I prefer to do this in two phases. So phase one would be to have the rubber band just jump easily, just like that. And the second phase, I would do the same thing. I would take the rubber band to the bottom, interlace the rubber band like this, creating basically eights going around. So now the rubber band is trapped inside, right? So it's gonna be harder, more impossible, whatever you wanna use for word here. Make sure that they understand that it's gonna be difficult, like way more difficult. And you are gonna do the exact same move that I just taught you. Grab the rubber band, you open it up, place your fingers inside, let it go, let it go, let it go. Open up and it's gonna jump to the other side. It's one of my absolute favorite tricks to do in front of people, it's amazing. You're gonna get so many like, what? How the, what? No way. These rubber bands are my absolute favorite ones. I use these all the time whenever I'm performing. I'm on stage or when I'm performing close up and I'm gonna link these in the description below. They are the absolute best. So the second trick is actually not really a trick. It's more of an optical illusion really. But isn't all magic with rubber bands? Well, I don't really know. What you wanna do, you wanna make sure that they understand that there is two rubber bands here, right? You're gonna take one of the rubber bands, you're gonna secretly place this on one of the people. I prefer to either, you know, put, place my hand on their shoulder and just leave Leave it be so if there are other people are on that side this is a perfect spot for this to be so you just leave it there no one is gonna notice especially if they have like a big jacket on you take one of the rubber bands you have the rubber band and you fold it like this just once so you have two loops like this and then you want to hold the rubber band in such a way that it's gonna look like it's two rubber bands right you want to display this in such a way that it's not gonna be weird so you want to be relaxed casual and you know ready to do your next thing and if you do this like under the table when you're just relaxing no one is gonna ever notice I like to get ready this Way. I have my thumb and my index finger and I just spread them out so I have the cross right here and then I go in with my other hand and I just go into those loops like that and they grab wherever they cross each other. So I grab them here, I spread these and I do this and I open, I close and I open. I want to make sure that they understand that this is two rubber bands and I just play with this. This is basically just something that you do uh, when, it, when you're not talking about anything special. I, I, that's the way I like to do it anyway. So you take the rubber bands and you just play with them like this, even though it's just the one. And then when you're ready, you take all the focus on the rubber bands. So you, maybe they're talking about something. Maybe you're even talking about something. And then you just focus all your energy here. And what you wanna do now is to slowly take it closer, just like that. And you slowly just release. And focus on one side first. 
and then grab the rubber band. You wanna do this with really open fingers, by the way, because the, the slower you do this, the more you're gonna sell it. Open up carefully, and there, you show that there's only one rubber band, and you don't say anything at this point. Well, I normally don't say anything at this point. I just look around, and then I see the person with the rubber band on their shoulder. I have a very clear, open hand. I reach out, I don't say anything, I just take the rubber band off their shoulder and I look at it and then I put them on my wrist. I like to do it this way because it's gonna create like a really cool mystery even though you're not saying that you're gonna perform something else. You just, you just do it. It's such a super simple trick and you're gonna get amazing reactions out of this. We're gonna do that sl slightly different. Okay, Marcus, you've been drinking so I'm gonna do this slowly. Okay, now, am I on the inside? Yes, thumb and index. That means I can't come out anywhere. Except for right there. <laughs> what? How the? What? No way. If you're getting any value of this, make sure you like this video. I've been doing this since I was a kid. It's amazing. It's really hard if you don't really know what's going on. So I'm going to try to teach you this as good as I can. So you want to have one of the rubber bands on your thumb and index finger on your left hand. And the same thing on your right hand. My left hand is still. I take the right hand with the rubber band, so it goes on the inside. So it's in between my hand and the rubber band. Grab it with my thumb. So now the situation is I have the rubber band interlaced and it's connected with my index and thumb on both hands. So now I show that wherever this is trying to go out, it won't work, right? And then as I rub it slowly or, you know, give it a blow, it's just gonna let the other one go. It's gonna look really hard, but it really isn't. You just have to understand where the contact points are and you're gonna be just fine. Okay, so you lower it in. When you go here, nothing happens. You wanna go like and show us it can't come out here. And as you can see here, I'm in a position where my long finger on my right hand is in a very close position to the rubber band on my right hand index finger. And as I go to show over here that it can't come out, what I do is that I, I take the rubber band and I like squeeze it out. So like, take a look at that. So show it can come out here. And as I do that, I'm in a perfect position. Press down on the index finger and as I pull, my index finger can go free. Press down with my long finger here on the rubber band on top of my index finger. And then I take my index finger in the loop created by the tension in the rubber band and my thumb and I place it inside. As I go back, I let go of my long finger here and I press this one down to make sure that these are still connected and they are understanding that this nothing happened just yet. Make sure that it doesn't just happen too quickly. So it can't be like this. It doesn't look good. Okay. So we're here, we're here, we press down, we do it again and we rub it and we rub it. And then when we find a good position, it's like we're looking for an opening. We just slowly, Pull them apart just like that. There you have it. Those are my absolute favorite rubber band tricks to do. I perform these all the time when I'm in close up or whenever I'm doing a stage work, when I have a camera with me. Having rubber bands on you like all time, it, it might make you look kind of dorky, but in all honesty, you're gonna be able to create amazing wonders and memories for people when you just do these simple tricks. If you wanna learn more of magic and if you wanna learn more about the business side of magic, you've definitely come to the right place. So make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. You're ready to learn card tricks next I have a couple of videos of that both in the description below and in the end card and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!